हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द चैनल आर्टिसंस वेब आई एम साजिद एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी हाउ टू यूज अजैक्स इन वर्डप्रेस सो हियर यू कैन सी माय स्क्रीन हियर देयर आर सम कंट्रीज एंड बेस्ड ऑन सिलेक्शन ऑफ कंट्रीज वी हैव टू फेच स्टेट्स एसोसिएटेड विद दिस कंट्री सो आई हैव डेटाबेस फॉर नाउ so this is my country database it contains countries and this is my states table so these are the states belongs to these countries here you can observe primary key like bra chn here fra int and which is the foreign key in the states table here you can observe so using primary key and foreign key relation we can fetch country and their related states so let's see how we can do this so here you can observe i use wordpress wpdb class and fetch the all countries using get results method here i write query select country id country name from table name now here you can see i look through this array countries variable and build the drop down for our countries here i give name country class country option value now here i look through each variable for value i keep country id and for display i'm displaying country name i can inspect with firebird so you can see here in value i keep primary key and for display i place country name like here now based on selection of countries we have to fetch states so for now i keep one empty div here so when i load a result using ajax i append those ajax response into this div and this is my simple submit button so for ajax purpose i have given class to our country drop down so let's see how to write ajax call <coughs> sorry so here i am writing my JavaScript. So var ajax URL. First, I declare one variable, and here you can observe admin underscore URL, admin ajax dot PHP. Why this variable should define? Because WordPress have their own way to call ajax. So everything you have to done using ajax in WordPress, you have to pass all data to this URL. which we can get using this function and this parameter for admin url function so now our next code i am writing click event for country on click country country is our class for drop down now using dollar this i am getting the value of current selected country here now and if that country is not blank it means if we have selected it then we go further so i am building one data variable here it has three parameters one is action get state by ajax this is user defined function country so we are passing our country id to this variable and security here we are creating wordpress norms to avoid any cross site attack in short we are preventing csrf attack so i am creating nonce here get states this one also user defined now i am using jquery post method ajax url i am posting data to this url this one and in response what do response i get from ajax i am appending to this div which we use here so this is the basic 
Ajax syntax in WordPress. Now we have to define this action. So I'm open my functions.php and write down two action. One action is WP Ajax and second one is WP Ajax no privilege. Second action is necessary only if we are working on front end. So this one is action and I append my action here get state by Ajax whatever action we are passing from Ajax this one should mention here same way it should be here as well and now call your callback function this function is user defined now we have to define our callback function first of all here we are using norms to avoid any security attack so using check ajax referral function wordpress is verified whether request coming from same server or not get states the name we have given here here second one is security parameter yeah so if we are safe here we go further here so here we get the value of country as we are using post method in WordPress Ajax here dollar dot post we have to fetch this data using dollar underscore post so on this variable we assign country ID again we are using WordPress WPDB class and now we are writing query for fetching our state select state ID state name from states where country ID equal to country And if we get the result for that specific country, we are looping through drop down. Sorry, we are building drop down by looping through this variable here. In value, I keep state ID, and for display, I keep state name. Once we finish with this loop, we must be die. We must use die. You can use here php exit die function as well, but as we are using WordPress, so it is better to use wp underscore die, which is WordPress built in function. So this response goes to our Ajax request here, and we are appending to this div. Now I am refreshing. Yeah. Now I select country. India. Here you can see Ajax request and it returns drop down with their related states. Same with other countries as well. Yes. So I hope you understand how to use Ajax. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.